Greetings, Phantom Vault. This is me here with a new video for you. It's the one I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. This one here is a look at all Batmobiles I have in diecast, at least all the small ones. I actually think I have a few that are stashed away somewhere. But this is the most I've had for a couple of years. As you can see here, there's quite a few variants from different versions of Batman. Some brand new that have just come out. Some I've had for several years. Some you may not even be able to find anymore, but, you know, <coughs> excuse me. There's some of these you don't see anymore. But I'll take you through what I have. This is here one is a 1989 Batmobile, but it, it's got the red and black trim, sort of like the 60s car. Kind of a nice little fun hybrid. Right next to this one is the one from the Batman the Animated Series. I love how this turned out. I've seen the Jada diecast do a different version of this one. Speaking of the 60s Batmobile, this is the proper colored 60s Batmobile. Very, very nice looking. I wish they did more detail with the front, but when this came out, they weren't doing that like they do with most Hot Wheels today. This one here is the Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Now, I bet you're wondering why it's blue instead of black. Well, there is a reason for that. Don't mind my hand in the way. Because it's the treasure hunt version. As you can see, there's the treasure. It's not very clear here, but it's the treasure hunt logo. It's just the basic treasure hunt logo, not the super. But it looks really, really nice. I love the light blue. It really makes it pop. Definitely unique. This one here is for the Robert Pattinson Batmobile. For the new movie coming out next year. Looks more like a regular car than a Batmobile to me. But, you know, I can't wait to see it in action. I hope I have a different opinion. But on first glance, it looks really, really good. It certainly does justice to the original picture that was leaked a few years back. This one here is from the series of The Batman. This actually is modeled off the colors in the actual show. This is from the second or third season. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But I do like this one. This one's one of my favorite ones. It's the 89 Batmobile. But as you can tell... It's got a giant wheel on the front, and I love the blue flames that it has that run throughout on the top. <laughs> Hot Wheels were showing off what they could do with an 89 Batmobile. They certainly succeeded there. This one's pretty cool. It's a dual pod Batmobile, but it's got, looks like a bat pattern on the top and on the back. Looks like on the back it's got like a batarang on the spoiler, but it looks really nice. I think that might be from a comic. I just don't know which one. This one here is the animated series... Batwing. I have another version of it, but I lost the stand. But this one here, it's got like Tron red lights, almost like following the pattern of Batman Beyond, kind of crossed with the 60s series. Definitely very impressive. There's also this one here. I don't know what this one's from. This might be one Mattel designed on their own. But uh, as you can see, it's definitely Batman. It's light blue. Uh, if you can tell, it's got a sort of like a red light, almost looking like the cowl. Very, very impressive. This one's really cool. I actually thought this was a treasure hunt when I first got it. But this one here is the 60s one, but it's in a light blue pattern. You can see there's a light blue bat signal. There's light blue the uh, pod on the top and light blue, blue siren. And the lines are light blue. Apparently that was a limited edition one. Next to that one is the Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Just the straightforward one. Looks very, very nice. Same modeling, but this one's much more detailed than the Treasure Hunt one. This one here is the Justice League, or rather Batman vs. Superman version. Anyway, you, you be the judge. It's that version of the Batmobile, so it's DC, you know, DC Movies version. This one here is the Bat Pod from the Nolan movies. Looks really, really, really cool. It's nice to see a Bat, bat Cycle in the actual set for a change. This is the other Batwing. This is just the one. It said no no colors on it except for just the the windows. But there's no design, no fancy line patterns or nothing. This one here is the Tumbler, but this is the prototype one before Batman painted it. Definitely looks cool. Here's the straight black Batman 1989 Michael Keaton Batmobile. Not much in terms of detail. There's no chrome on it or nothing, but... The windows look really, really nice. They definitely got the scale correct. I'm definitely a big fan of that one. This is the one from the Justice League. As you can tell, there's a gun mounted on the top on the passenger side. But the model is exactly the same. Definitely well detailed. Definitely worth worth the price of admission, if you were. 
This one here is the tumbler, but again, painted black. Well, I'm sorry for the little dust on it. I've had it in a cigar box for a couple of years, but all the same, it's the same car. This one here is from Batman the Brave and the Bold. I like how these ones are repeating the red and black color scheme. Makes it look really, really nice. Matter of fact, it's one of the defining traits I'm seeing in all these Batmobiles. And this one here is from Batman Arkham Knight. You know, it's nice to see a nice solid black black car. I, love it. I can't wait to see variants of this one. I know there have been a few out. If I can ever get around to doing them, I promise I'll make a video on them. But anyway, for all intents and purposes, these are my current working set of regular scale die-cast Batmobiles. I do have others, but again, these are just what I have here. Anyway, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please let me, please like and subscribe. Anyway, this is Phantom Vault signing off.